Hello, so this problem is going to be finding one real solution. Uh, this is when you have a variable as your C term. So this requires that you use the discriminant. The discriminant comes from the quadratic formula, x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all divided by 2a. So this is the quadratic formula. The discriminant is this part of the quadratic formula. Now since it's inside the radical, the sign, or the, the sign of this number dictates how many solutions you're gonna have. So if the discriminant is greater than zero, you're going to have two solutions. If the discriminant is equal to zero, you're going to expect one solution. And if it's less than zero, you're going to have no solution. So in this specific problem, we're going to want to find one real solution. So we're going to set the discriminant equal to zero and solve for h. So we have to identify first what is our a, b, and c. Our a in this case is 7, our b is negative 4, and our c is h. This is because we're following the standard form of the quadratic equation, which is ax squared plus bx plus c. So our discriminant is b squared minus 4ac. Again, we're saying it equal to 0 because we only want to find, want to find one solution. Plugging in our a, b, and c, we get negative 4 squared minus 4 times 7 times h is equal to 0. Following PEMDAS, or orders of operation, we'll solve for h. 16 minus 28h is equal to 0. Now at this part, a lot of people think that you have to have a variable on the left-hand side of the equal sign. That's not necessarily true. You can have a variable on any side of the equal sign. So for me, it's going to be easier if I just add 28h to both sides. Remember, whatever you do to one side of the equation, you have to do it to the other. Left-hand side, 28h cancels. You have 16 is equal to 28h. Divide both sides by 28. And simplify the fraction on the left-hand side. You simplify fractions by figuring out what can I divide both the numerator and denominator by. I can divide both the numerator and denominator by 4, leaving me with 4 over 7 equals h. And that's what the value of h would have to be in order to have one real solution. 